Hello, this is Professor Stephen Neshaba, and I'm here to help you out with installing a Python notebook on your Windows 7 uh, machine. So what you want to do is uh, take your browser and go to the Anaconda download site, which as you can see up here, it's anaconda.com slash download. And uh, what we want to uh, do is go down and we want to install Python 3.6. So you'll click that download and it will start this. Now it might take you know some time and we've already downloaded that so we're going to cancel cancel that download and but uh, you'll want to watch that and uh, when it is downloaded in your download folder uh, you'll see a uh, that uh, that application and now we're going to click on that application that's the uh, that's the installer and uh, you'll see various um, prompts come by you like this uh, the default place to uh, install is called Anaconda 3. Now, this also takes a little bit of time, and we've already done that, so we're going to cancel out out of that right now. Uh, but uh, when you do that, normally what will happen is another screen will show up, which is the registration uh, screen, which uh, you you uh, you might want to fill out. Um, but we're going to go straight to how to launch uh, uh, the Anaconda Navigator, which, as you can see, was here in the... Um, in that um, in that window there, the um, start menu, and uh, you can see the icon. It says Anaconda Navigator, so we're going to click on the Anaconda Navigator, and uh, it'll take a little bit of time uh, to do its initializing. And uh, and what happens is a lot of different applications will come up, but the one that we want is the uh, Jupyter Notebook. So you're going to click Launch there, and uh, that's going to open up. Um, a window in a browser and uh, that's gonna open it up into your home directory there now we've actually already created a folder in that home directory called my notebook so if you click on that and we've actually created a, a simple program a Python notebook which just says hello world which the usual procedure is use shift enter to execute it and um, so it works and um, that's all fine now normally what you'll want to do when you're done with uh, writing a, a program like this is you'll want to save using that save icon and then uh, the clean way to get out of it is to go to file and say close and halt otherwise you'll have some stranded processes and uh, and if you're all done with all of the programming you're going to do for the day you go to log out and uh, and um, and then and then you're done so um, I think that that's how you install um, Jupyter notebooks on your Windows 7 machine.